So I'm going to share with you how a fly can save your life, not only in aviation, but also in real life. All right, so in aviation, we have this set of words that we teach people to go by in case there's an emergency or if there's an emergency. And basically it's fly. So what happens, you get so distracted, you're not sure what you're gonna do. You gotta fly the airplane. So that's the first thing you do. Then you navigate, figure out, okay, where are you going, what's going on? Then you communicate to the tower, hey, mayday, mayday, got a problem. Ready? Oh, sorry, he's gonna start up. Clip up. So it's gonna get a little loud here for a second. There we go. All right. Okay. So now, then when you get to the point of flying the aircraft, there's certain things that you have to learn to master. Now, so today we've got some clouds up there. See a lot of clouds up there today, right? And if we go in the clouds, the problem that people have is they, and this is crazy as it sounds, it's really crazy. If you don't have the experience and you get in the cloud, you can't tell up from down. I know it sounds so crazy. I've had people like really arrogant that, you know, relatively what I would consider smart people who weren't very experienced in flying but had their license but hadn't been flying for years. I had one guy specifically say, oh, that's not possible. I don't even know how, how, how can you go in the clouds and not tell up from down? Until one day I put him in the clouds and he could not tell up from down and he did not he still did not want to admit it so we're going to talk about that today as we go flying and what it ultimately boils down to is i'm going to point to the instrument panel here and with regard to this instrument panel if you don't learn how to fly by the instruments you will crash your airplane they say statistics show in three minutes if you get in the clouds or in bad weather and you don't have the experience three minutes you're gone okay now in life it really works the same way. The reason a lot of people have a hard time becoming more successful is because they get into the clouds, they don't have the experience, and they give up and they crash and they quit. So then how, the next question is, how does a person get the experience to the point where they can fly in the clouds and the, what we call the bad weather? I mean, you gotta get to that point because you can't have a perfect day every time you go flying. It's just not reasonable. So how do you do that? You get an instructor, and the instructor puts on what's called a foggle. In other words, the, they give you some glasses, and at the bottom of the glasses are, I should, sorry, the top of the glasses are all fogged up, so you can't see outside, and you can only see, like I got here in my glasses, you can only see there's a little spot opened up where you can only see the instruments. And then you pretend that you're in the clouds. You pretend that there are emergencies, you pretend that there's problems, and then you learn to start to trust these instruments. And if you don't learn to trust these instruments, you cannot succeed. So my question to you now is in life, what are the instruments that you trust to keep going forward? Hey, it's Gary Cox and I've got a little tequila and we're obviously in the office now. And when I talk about the instruments in your life, those are basically beliefs. You wanna listen closely to this, for every belief you act on, you get a result. If you want different results, you have to identify what your beliefs are, and if those beliefs are not gonna get you to where you wanna go, such as the instruments, then you need to adjust things. So let's go back to this fly now. Remember, when you have a problem in aviation, the first thing that you have to do, you have to learn to be programmed, you have to condition yourself, oh my gosh, there's a problem, what's the first thing you do? Fly. Then you navigate, then you communicate. So let's talk about this fly. And I put my hand out like this, like, what, what's this mean? I'll tell you why. Years ago, and you've probably heard of the company Advanced Auto Parts. Well, 20 plus years ago, it used to be Discount Auto Parts. And there's a gentleman locally where I live, he actually started that company and he sold it years ago and they changed the name and it's a huge company now but he was also a pilot. And he came to me and he said, Gary, you know, I'm really concerned as a new pilot about my safety. And back then he was worth a lot of money. And you know, he said, do you have any ideas? Can, can you help me in my flying to become more safe? And I said, I think I can do that. <clears throat> so taking this philosophy of fly, navigate, communicate, I wanted him to get, I mean, just be ingrained when any type, there's any type of a problem, fly that airplane, fly that airplane. 
So I bought a big plastic fly. It was huge. It was like about this big. And I remember exactly to this day what it looked like. And then we'd go in the airplane and then we'd simulate emergencies. An emergency, let's say maybe a door would pop open. And the moment the door would pop open or I'd simulate emergency, I would put this fly right on the dashboard and he would see this big fly. And it would just be ingrained in his mind using a mnemonic aid that he needs to fly and then he would go right away and not be concerned about the emergency. There's so many people, for example, in aviation that have killed themselves because after they took off, the door popped open, they got distracted, they didn't focus first on flying the aircraft, then later on work on the emergency. They worked on the emergency first and got distracted and they crashed. I'm gonna tell you a story in just a moment about how this happened not too recently with me watching two pilots in an aircraft. So let's go back to life now. When you have a specific problem, when things really hit the fan, they're not going your way, what is the beliefs or the instruments that you fly by? I was very blessed to have a billionaire mentor and what I learned from him is I would find out if this happens to you or when this happens, how do you think? What is your belief system? I'm looking for what's the belief system that he flies by. And what's interesting is when he was so busy, which is pretty much always, I could go to somebody who was close to him. I would often go to his assistant and I would say, if this happened or that happened, how would he do this? What's his thought process? I'm looking for the way and what he does and what's the instruments that he flies by. So you need to know what are your beliefs or what are your instruments that you use to circumnavigate and control your life. If you don't know what they are, you see people, they have no control emotionally. And many times because of that, they're on drugs or alcohol or some other crazy things because they don't have specific instruments or beliefs to circumnavigate the problems that they're experiencing at the time they're experiencing them. So let me go back to this idea of using this fly. So this gentleman, his name was Dennis, that owned this uh, Discount Auto Parts, now Advanced Auto Parts. I remember I would take off with him in the airplane and then without him realizing it and knowing what's gonna happen, I would purposely pop the door open. So the door is now popped open and I would take this big fly and I would slap it right on top of the dashboard so he would know to ignore that problem right now. Let's fly, get everything organized. What's my instruments I need to fly by? And then once we're a little bit more established, we focus on that particular emergency. Just recently, not too long ago, I was in my airplane there were two other people getting checked out in the airplane, one specifically in the pilot seat, the other person who was watching them and getting them checked out. And I came as an observer. So the three of us in the airplane, very experienced pilots, this pilot takes off. Both pilots didn't recognize that the door wasn't locked. And the moment we take off, poof, the door pops open and it can get very, very loud. I've happened, have had it happen before. Most pilots, especially, you know, in the small airplanes, they've had it happen before. And it can be very distracting, especially in this airplane because it's loud, the door is very large. So now they're taking off and I see two pilots immediately getting distracted, dangerous situation, getting distracted with this door open. The first thing that came into my mind, I literally saw that big fly, that big fly that I used 20 plus years ago, come right into my mind. And then what I did, we all had headsets on, I had to yell a little louder because of the noise. And I yelled to the pilot in the right seat. I said, you fly the airplane. I made it very distinct what was going on here. You fly the airplane, we'll take care of the emergency. We'll take care of the door. So he focused on the flying and I watched him to make sure he was stuck on flying that airplane. And then the other pilot and myself, we focused on closing the door. This is the stuff that you want to use in life. You need to have a list of instruments or a list of beliefs that you can fly by when problems happen. And if you don't have these list of beliefs, the problem is you're going to be easily distracted. You'll get off course and then you'll crash sometimes in life. 
Hope you've enjoyed today's video. We're out of here. Tequila, say goodbye. Between now and the next time we get the chat, you know what to do. And if you don't, you do now. Don't let others rent space in your head. Love to have you subscribe. If you'd like some more information about beliefs or whatever, please feel free to comment below. I look forward to making more videos that you would enjoy. I'm out of here and thanks again for your time.